Ed Stan here in Virginia once again. I'd like to share with you a quick project I made. Uh, I made a set of wing bags for my Carbon Z Cub. It's Christmas time and I looked around and I said, hey, I need a set of wing bags for this new airplane to keep from damaging them when I transport them in my pickup truck. But you look all around and there's plenty of wing bags out there, but they're mo mostly made for tapered wing 3D and sport kind of airplanes. They don't make them for these w Cubs with the square wings. Perhaps they will uh, in the future here as the Cub catches on more and more, this new one with the square, squared off wings. But anyway, <clears throat> went on a forum and the guys gave me some ideas. There's some videos. You can go out on uh, YouTube or other channels. Find some other good uh, YouTube uh, channels to have good videos. But this is my take on it. You go to Lowe's and you buy a roll of this stuff right here. This is called Reflex Tick. Reflex Tick. You buy a roll that's 16 inches wide, 25 feet long. That's all you need. And you can see that piece over there, that's, that's all left over. I can use that to make a wing for some smaller airplane. Anyway, <clears throat> you bring that home, break it out. It's a bubble kind of insulation material. And <clears throat> what you do is you just uh, <clears throat> got to get some good, uh, you need a little nylon strapping material, which I had left over. You can buy some at a fabric shop. Just nylon straps, the same straps I used to hang my airplanes from the ceiling and you need a good set of uh, a good roll of duct tape either this stuff here is uh, some special stuff I didn't buy it but my furnace man left me a roll of this this is called uh, Flex Seal 457 it's real strong stuff but I'm sure Gorilla duct tape or any kind of duct tape will work just make sure that it's um, about two inches wide because you have to wrap it around here. So you just roll this thing out, roll out your roll, <clears throat> and you measure off a piece 43 inches. This from here to here is 43 inches. Measure that off and mark it. And then <clears throat> you mark another piece 43 inches, which is up to here. And then you make this, which is a tongue, a closure tongue, you make that I made it six inches and it seemed to work just fine. So <clears throat> you simply take your tape and put it on one side. You got to get a helper to do this. My wife helped me on this one pretty good. She's good at wrapping. She has some good ideas. And uh, you got to stick it on one side and the duct tape is so sticky, you know, you can't get it off your fingers to reposition. It can be kind of frustrating. Anyway, if you make these 43 inches long, you tape them together, you make a five inch tongue, this thing right here, and uh, then you take some uh, nylon <clears throat> material, or I suppose you could use rope, I just put it on here, one piece on one side, one piece on the other, put some extra tape on there, and you got a handle. So if you do that, then you take a broom handle and you shove down there and get some air in it. I've already done it for this one, but you can take your wing. It's kind of hard the first time. you got to blow some air in there to get it to open up. And uh, I th it seems to work best if you... These control horns can sort of hang up when you go to put it in here. But you push that right down in there. <clears throat> and uh, sometimes it, you stand it up. Kind of squish it down this way a little bit more. You can put that wing right down in this bag, all the way down. And you take your your thing here. You could just you could put some Velcro on here. I guess that works well. But I don't know. I just made the right now. I just got it like a closure flap. You just push that in there. Maybe I'll put Velcro on there later. I don't know. But you just put that down in there close it down and you got yourself a wing bag now I can take this very light very lightweight take that take it to my pickup truck throw it right up in the back no problem that wing is protected I may later on I don't know I got enough left over to make some more you start making these 
you might have too many you might want a stencil on there paint it you know cub for the cub but now I did on this other piece over here you have to make a little keeper for your joiner your wing joiner which I, I got it right here and you put it right right down in there you just take a piece about four inches wide tape it on one end and uh, tape it right over top of the wing joiner and uh, you don't even need a flap on there you can just slide that in there I forget what well, this is 30 <coughs> piece uh, I don't know what that is that piece is 31 inches 31 inches long tape it on the outside of the bag and you got yourself a, you don't even need a little flap it'll just stay in there with the friction <coughs> so now I got two wing bags ready to go to the field ready to go flying just toss these in the back of your truck and they should uh, protect they're very light you know these wings aren't heavy you can get them like that you can carry them both in one hand so anyway that's my take on cheap wing bags for your carbon Z cub they're less than um, I think the flex it tape the silver stuff was $16 if you had to buy a roll of duct tape anyway you ought to be able to do this for less than $25 if you, if you bought everything so if you have some of the stuff already at, uh, hanging around like the duct tape and like I had the strapping all I spent today was for the uh, <clears throat> reflex it so anyway I hope this uh, helps you if you want some cheap wing bags to protect your carbon Z cub safe flying out here